Hi, this is Dr. Champ from Algoma University, and uh, this is a quick introduction to how to use a pivot table in Microsoft Excel. So, what I have here is a list of plot data. Uh, so, this is uh, the species codes here are a list of the species that are in different plots. So, the first column identifies the plot, the second identifies the cover, and the third identifies the species. And if you continue down the list, you'll see that the site uh, values or the plot values change. So this is an in, well it's not a great format for, for uh, plant ecologists to use or ecologists to use in general. Um, it would be convenient to have this in a slightly different format in a matrix of uh, species by site. So with the species listed along the rows here and the sites listed along the columns and all the data within there being the cover data. So there is a quick way of doing that. You can go to insert pivot table, insert a pivot table like this. Now you can click here and select a range. What we want to select is our data. Okay, once that's selected, you click this again. Uh, now we want to put it in a new worksheet. Okay, And this is what's going to happen. We open up this and you have a variety of options here. So as I said, we want the sites to be uh, in the columns field. So I'm going to drag the sites over to the columns. You can see they all pop up over here. Um, the species codes I would like to be in the rows. All the species are now in the rows. And the cover will be in the data. And that's quite a convenient way of doing that. And you can see that now you have your species uh, listed only once. So there's no repetition of species. There's no repetition of sites. There's only one value, one column per site. and one uh, row per species and you can see so the occurrences of this species here occur across this list here uh, and that's how you use a pivot table to create a matrix from that sort of a species list